Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great, except as I sit down to record this, Wildcat Nation is in total upheaval. Nigel Pack, star basketball player, into the transfer portal. And a lot of you are just absolutely devastated by this news. And I'm, I'm surprised. I'm not shocked. I never got the vibe from Nigel. He was 100% in, but I sure did get the vibe he would give it a shot. And apparently not. And maybe he's just exploring all of his options. The same thing he's doing with entering his name into the NBA draft, just trying to find out what's available to him and what others think of him. And when you get into the transfer portal, maybe you can discuss NIL money with other programs. What's in it for me? I don't blame Nigel for that. And I don't think that losing a 17-point score that was a first-team All-Big 12 player and shot incredibly well from three-point range, what, around 44%? Losing that's not good for your program either. But I'll say this. If you're Jerome Tang, all you want on your roster are the best players possible that want to be in Manhattan, Kansas with you as coach. And if that doesn't include most of this roster, if this doesn't include all of this roster, Quit thinking like this is the same thing that Bob Huggins faced in trying to keep his roster together. The transfer portal changes it all. It changes the ability of players to leave your program with tremendous ease, but it also means if you have to go find 13 new guys, it might take a lot of work, it might take a lot of convincing, but you can rebuild a roster in one year as a basketball program. The transfer portal, as I've always said, goes both directions. I hope Nigel stays, but when he writes that Kansas State will still be considered for his future, I've seen other prominent players say the same thing and end up transferring. So brace yourselves. I think this is a sign that Nigel probably will leave Kansas State, and it kind of sucks. But that is part of doing business right now in college basketball. And to be brutally honest, Having a Bruce Weber player transfer is not out of the norm at all. In fact, a majority of his recruits in his time at K-State did indeed transfer away from the school. Now, maybe none of them were as high profile as Nigel Pack, but Marcus Foster comes pretty close. It's going to be interesting to see not only where Pack ends up, but what Tang does as he rebuilds this K-State basketball program in his image with the players he wants and the players that want to be coached by Jerome Tang.